Abba Yah, Torah, Hallelujah, all praises to your holy name, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, the one and only Elohim of Israel, alone. Understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Isaiah 43.10 43, You are my, my witnesses, witness, said Yah, Yah, and my, my servant, servant, whom I, I have chosen, chosen, that ye may, may know and believe me, me and understand, understand that I am, I am He. Before, before me, me there was no God, God form, form, neither, neither shall, shall there be after, after me. me. They know who you are, Israel. They know already who you are. They know that all the Israelites are of the Negroid race. They already know who you are. You don't have to prove anything. And I'm telling you, it's all been set up. The whole earth has already been arranged and set up and ready to go. They talk about a war in heaven. They weren't talking about, the Bible is not talking about a war up in heaven. It's talking about a war here on earth. This is the heavens. This is the Gentiles heaven. This is part of the heavens. This is where the war will be. They already know who you are. Those camps, those camps know that all 12 tribes are of the Negroid race. They already know it. I dealt with the camp. I was, I was, I was in a camp. And when I found out, uh, years ago, I found out that all the Israelites were of the Negroid race, no one challenged me, no one, because they knew I was telling the truth. And I can back it up in the Bible. The Israelites, we always dealt with our own race, always. Always marrying our own cousins, marrying uh, stepsisters. Abraham married his stepsister. It's, it's all in there. They know, they know you're the Israelites. The whole earth know you're the Israelites. I went into a Rite Aid and they asked me, would I like a flu shot? And I told them, I said, Israelites are not allowed to get flu shots. This Edomite looked and smiled and walked away. That was just one instance. That was one example. They already know who you are. This this been going on all my life. Things I have seen, I didn't realize what it was about at that time. But now I know. I know. The Edomites are here to correct you, to keep you. you know, first of all, they're going to give you all, if you're evil, they're going to give you all the evil that you want if you accept who you really are I'm talking to you Negroes if you accept who you who you are your identity as an Israelite the most high is going to show mercy to you and this is a hard thing to understand it's a hard thing to understand because in this world things seem like they are but they're not what they're, they appear to be all the colleges, all the schools, all the churches are all in on it. They're all in on it. They have no knowledge of, of uh, what the scripture says. But they are part of that entity of, of, of punishment. The religions, all the religions are part of that punishment. The Edomites are here. The Edomite Caucasoids are here to correct you. This is a correction. America and this earth is, is a correction facility 
for the Israelites. This, you know, I've been saying this a long time, but you know, I decided to start just making these videos like this because if you're asleep, the only way you can awaken, if you're searching for the truth and who you are, you have to hear it. You have to hear it. I know. We all were asleep. The ones that are awake now, we heard the word of the scriptures and we heard a priest telling us the truth. It's the truth that awakens you. Ira in the Hebrew is Ira. Awaken. You sleep and you don't even know it. This, this illusion it's not like an illusion that you see. This is an illusion to pretend that everything is good and everything is right. It's an illusion of lies. That's what the illusion is. It's not what you see that's the illusion. It's the illusion of lies. Then is what they create in the lie for you to see. Like the Edomite Caucasoid God that they created us in all the churches you know the creator and the son are of the Negroid race they know this already you just don't know it the children of Israel are the Negroid race the Negroids are all over the world you know, if you look up the word Negro, it's funny, because I looked it up, and I was kind of shocked what I read. It said, let's look it up right quick. It says Negro, Negroid, of or relating to the division of humankind represented by by the indigenous people of Central and Southern Africa. Isn't that funny? Central and Southern Africa. Do you know the Congo is in the Central Africa? Those are Negroes in the Congo and in Southern Africa is Negroes what they would call the Zulu Nation which is the tribe of Gad. <laughs> they already know everything. Negro, also known as Congoid. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Someone was telling me, you know Ephraim is of the Congoid. And I'm like, Ephraim? You know, because you have all these camps uh, talking about Ephraim is uh, of the Puerto Ricans or you know something like that Hispanic no Hispanics uh, look if they're not of the Negroid race both parents they're not Israelites those are imposters and spies to divide and make us even weaker they knew we was waking up these camps are all over the place if you look at these camps they have Edomites in them, they have Gentiles in them, they have Mamzars, which is bastards in them, mixed people. Because everywhere the Israelites gather, there are uh, always going to be the devil, which is Satan. If you read Revelation 12, the devil is Satan. That's them. That's the Caucasoid race, the Edomite Caucasoid race. And the truth, uh, the only reason most people won't receive the truth is because they feel that the Bible is racist. Yes, it is racist. It is for the Israelite Negroid race. If you don't follow the laws, you lose your race. It's that simple. It was for you. And, you know, it, it, it's crazy. 
it is crazy. You, you, you know, not many people even listen uh, to the truth because this this kingdom is uh, this is this kingdom is nothing but lies, murder, lies, thievery, fornication. That's it. You turn on your TV, fornication. You don't even know why they got fornication in the movie. It was no reason to have fornication in a robot movie. But you're not getting it. A son was mentioned in this video. Understand that son is King David. Not the New Testament idol, fictional character, Jesus, Yahweh Shai, Yahusha, or uh, whatever name you got to come up and make up. King David would be king, not his root, not his offspring, but King David be raised. Do your research. I just had to add that to the end of it because he mentioned son. Hallelujah. The New Testament is opposite Yah, and Yah is not in it, period. Shalom. Mm -hmm.